Hi everybody, welcome back to Puzzles to Solve here at Baker Magic Show's YouTube channel and BakerMagicShows.com My website, alright. So, in this puzzle, you're going to need a glass with water in it. Now I filled it right to the top so you can see the, the top of the water. But you don't have to have that much, you can have it about here. And put a cloth down, okay? In case you make a spill or anything, right? Good idea. And then you're going to need some paper clips. So go off and get a glass with some water in it, a nice towel or something, and some paper clips, and come on back. I'll pause. All right, so you're back. You got them all. So you have your glass on the cloth. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take some of these paper clips, and you're going to see if you can float them on the top of the water. Not like that. All right, so see if you can float a paper clip on the top of the water. Go! Pause me. How did that go? Now I hope you didn't do what some people wanted to do is hang them off the side. That doesn't count. It actually has to float on the water. Alright? So go back if that's what you did if you were hanging them off the sides and stuff. Just one by itself floating on the water is what we need. Okay? Alright, go try it again. Pause me. Was that any better? Alright, if not, let me give you this clue. You only have to float one on top of the water. But that doesn't mean that you have to use only one to try and do that. That's your clue. Go! Pause me. Alright, did that help you out at all? Alright, if not, here is the secret to this puzzle. You're going to take one of them and you're going to fold it so that it looks kind of like a T, like this. All right. And that is going to allow you to put another one on top of it, like this. And then you can lower it onto the water. And then push down and move it away from the other one and take it out of the water. And it's floating. That's called surface tension. Pretty neat, eh? All right, can you see that? I'll move it a little closer. So there you go. Thanks for coming. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, of course. And uh, share it with all your friends. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, you know you hit that red subscribe button. And then, and the little bell. And the little bell will ring on your phone or on your computer to let you know whenever I'm doing something new. All right? You know that I'm doing puzzles. I'm also doing magic tricks and balloon animals. All right? And for moms and dads, I'm uh, keeping you up to date on how I'm doing shows and where I'm doing shows. And also, I'm giving tips on uh, how to plan a party. All right? So thanks for coming. We'll see you next time.